Hello there everyone and welcome to another edition of Lydia's Crafty Corner with me Lydia in my Crafty Corner. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create a tunnel card like this. I've used the floral arrangement stamps and dies to decorate and also the builder wreath for the oval shape itself. So to start with I have a piece of cardstock which is 11 inches by five and a half and I'm then going to score it. I'm scoring at half an inch, then one and a half inches, five and three quarter inches, and then six and three quarter inches. I'm also going to trim off the edge. So up until the last score line, I'm going to want another four and a quarter inches. And then I can just trim off that little piece at the edge there. I also have two smaller pieces, which are four and three quarters by five and a half. So I'm going to score these, um, both of these pieces, both a quarter of an inch on each side. So I'm going to do one side, flip it over, and then flip it over again. So the panel in the center is four and a quarter, and then I have the two quarter of an inch score lines either side. So this is going to create a four and a quarter um, tunnel card at the front, and these are just going to be the bits that we're going to use to adhere. So once I have done all my scoring, I'm then going to do my cutting. So to make sure I have this piece, this um, die from Builder Wreath, centered on each of the panels that I want to cut, I'm going to use a piece of acetate. So I'm just adding this into place where I want it. So I'm adding it into the front, which is going to be the front of my card. So this is the past the two first score lines. And then I'm adding a piece of acetate on the top which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So this is the exact size that I want for my card panel. I'm then gonna take this into position using a little bit of washi tape because I do not want this to move at all when I run this through my die cutting machine. So I'm then gonna run it through my die cutting machine and then it's gonna cut out the panel exactly where I want it because it's on taped on to the acetate. I forgot to say that I did add a little bit of glue to the back of the die, so I've used the um, Ulta New tape runner to the back of the die so it does stick onto my acetate. I'm then gonna use it on the smaller two panels. So I've lined it up with the score lines that we have in place already. So it's in the center of my piece and I'm gonna run that through. This means that all of my pieces are gonna have this beautiful oval in the right place on all of them. So it's a really great way to line up dies so that they're in the right place every time. So it maybe if you're making a bulk batch of cards and you want the sentiment or anything that's the die um, in the right place, add it to a piece of acetate that's the same size as your card panel and then you'll be able to cut it over and over again just lining it up with your card panel. It's really really easy and I think this works really well. So once I've done all the die cutting I'm then going to score the score lines really really well. I'm using a bone folder but you can use your finger or anything that you do have on hand. So I'm going to do the score lines on the large panel and then also the small panels as well. So I'm now gonna get into a little bit of stamping. So I'm using the flower arrangement stamp set and I'm not gonna use all of the layers on these flowers. I'm actually only gonna use two. So I'm stamping the first layer, the base layer of all the flowers using some Volcano Lake ink. Yes, I know, one of my favorites. I am a turquoise girl and I do love this color. I'm then gonna use Teal Cave to stamp a second layer. So for this large flower, I have in fact missed out the second layer and then stamped the third layer. But for all of the other flowers that I've stamped, I am just using the second layer and not the third. Um, I, did, I do have to say that I have stamped way too many. I didn't use all of these flowers, but it's always better to have too much rather than too little, right? And I can definitely use these beautiful flowers on a different project. As well as the flowers, I'm also gonna stamp some leaves. So I'm stamping the two different leaf fronds and I'm using parrot for the first layer and then I'm using olive for the second. There is a third layer to these leaves, but I just wanted to do the two layers, seeing as though I'd only done two layers on the flowers, but you can definitely do the three layers if you would like to. I'm then just gonna cut out all of the images using the coordinating die set. So this is the flower arrangements die set. And I'm gonna use my trusty mini blossom machine. So I'm gonna cut out all of the images, all of the flowers, all of the leaves, 
And then I'm also going to cut the sentiment from the flower arrangement die set. So there's a little hello in there. And I'm just going to cut this out of black cardstock. Then it is time for me to play around with creating beautiful flower arrangements with the flower arrangement die set and stamp set, sorry. So all I'm doing is I've got my two layers that I have die cut and scored and I'm just going to place my flowers onto these layers. So I'm playing around and I'm making sure that I have like a larger images in the back. So this is the one, the layer that's going to be behind. So I want them more into the center and then the layer that I have in front more to the edges of that oval if you get what I mean. So you're going to be able to see the layer behind and through the second layer so it's going to give you lots of beautiful depth and dimension and I just really like playing around with these flowers to creating that. So I'm going to add some really super sticky tape to the edges of my two panels. So this is um, a nice thin and very very strong adhesive. I would recommend a dry adhesive for this because it sticks straight away but you're going to make sure it's nice and strong one. I'm then going to add it in. So I'm adding this into the score line that's got like an inch thick and I'm adding this to the bottom of the score line and making sure that it is on that inch panel. I'm then going to take the um, tape from one of the, the other panel, sorry, and I'm going to place this above the second, the first panel. This is where it gets a bit fiddly. Okay, so I'm going to need to place the in the inner piece, this one that's closer to the front of the card first. So I'm just going to lift up the panel and then just stick that onto the side, roughly trying to be in the same position as it is on the other um, edge. So it does fold nice and flat. I forgot to say that this does actually fold flat. It will fit into an envelope, but it needs to be a bit bigger than a normal envelope. So I'm going to add this one um, adjacent to the other side. And then I'm going to add some more tape along this edge. So this little score line that we did first, this is our one that's going to keep everything nice and together and kind of like a box. So it's this is how we're going to create the tunnel card and it's all one piece. And how pretty is that? And I just love that it does actually fold flat so you can fit it into an envelope. You may have to make your own envelope, but you know, you've made the card, so it's not too much trouble to make an extra envelope, right? So I'm just gonna add a couple more flowers to the front panel. Um, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I found that I had all these flowers and leaves left. I did wanna pop a little couple more there. And I was in fact gonna put that on the top layer, but then I thought it's gonna look really, really pretty on the second layer, just peeking through. So I'm just add a little bit of glue to the O and the H, and I've popped these on to the flowers. And there it is complete. And just look at all that extra depth and dimension. I think I could have got away with putting an extra layer in there. So definitely you can add an extra layer if you wanted to. So again, thank you so much for watching the video. And I really hope that you enjoy the watching it and maybe give it a go yourself. There are a couple more videos here if you would like to watch them as well. If you don't want to miss out on any videos that we do upload to the channel, we would love it if you do subscribe. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you again really, really soon. Goodbye.